tatu. Mili mil consumers up on a 16 kilometer journey from Chirilawombe to Kasumbalesa from buying the commodity. This kind of movement has been going on for two months now after government extended the export of maize and maize products banned to 27 traders who operate from Kasumbalesa market. The traders have closed their shops and even if they open, they are not allowed to trade in millimil, while those who trade in groundnuts and other produce have been affected by the lack of activity here. The affected traders are low-spirited, and Kasumbalesa Commercial Traders Association Chairperson Alan Imbasela explains what transpired. Uh, banning of export, it is something to do with uh, taking goods across the other country. But us, traders, we've been doing business local here in, in Kasumbalesa. Kasumbalesa is not in Congo. Kasumbalesa is, is within the boundaries of Zambia. They had to deploy uh, Z, ZN, the Zambia National uh, Service who came to, to help to man, to man the border, the borderline. The problem which you have is uh, where, they have, uh, where they have made the, the roadblock. With their trading licenses in their hands, the traders are at pains to understand why they are being blocked. I'm a licensee, I'm a land trader, I can't sell that for me. I don't have a wife here, but I don't have a wife here. I don't have a wife here, but I don't have a wife here. I don't have a wife here, but I don't have a wife here. The traders explain that they are not smugglers, but business personnel who are contributors to development. Smuggling simply means somebody with the bulk of any commodity trying to cross to go to another country, leaving Zambia, then that's a smuggler. But us, we are trading from our shops. If I'm a trader, do I have to choose a customer who is supposed to enter in my shop? And if you can move around, there are some routes which are being used as of now. Of which you have said, we genuine traders, we cannot allow such such activities, such illegal activities. So it's better we push for, to operate from our own shops, which we acquired from the local authority. So we are appealing to the president to look into our crime. Pantu mumu ine mkushitisha. Emo tusange mpia shaku, shaku tuwadila vana kumasukuru, na ame sukuru kumasukuru. Ero ife tulibakara amba, keti tule sendo munga kutuwala mumpa, nga kumakawama. Recently, the Indaba Agricultural Policy Research Institute, IAPRI, established that export bans harm producers by limiting their ability to gain maximum revenue from their sales. And with this ban imposed locally, the traders will continue to lose more market with each day that comes. Mike Mobanga, Movie TV News, at Kasumbalesa Border Post, Copperbelt Province.